What's going on ERB sports fans? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about a PSA submission that I'm about to make, but we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Normally I'd have you guys looking down on the camera, but I wanted to actually do this one face up so you guys can kind of see where my head is at with regards to my reactions from the cards. I've got 21 or 22 cards. These are gonna be submitted under the $19 tier. Now there are some pulls that I recently got from Topps Chrome Hobby Boxes, which I did want to make sure I send in as quickly as I can. So those are definite yeses. Uh, then there's a couple in here I'm a little bit on the fence about, kind of give you guys my, my thoughts. And I can always change it because I think you have 30 days to submit. In case you've never gone through a PSA submission before, and this is your first time wanting to know how that process works, basically you enter all the cards on the website, you go ahead and click submit, gives you something to print out. It basically says you have 30 days to get these cards to us or this contract is void, in which case they'll send it back to you and you start the process over again. So I turned it in yesterday. So I've got 29 days and 12 hours. And uh, yeah, these are the 22 cards or 21 cards. Can't remember exactly where I'm at, but uh, these are what I'm going to submit. So first one up is an Ellie De La Cruz top, or tops, Bowman Chrome first. I got this out of a mega box packs uh, from um, a couple weeks ago. I had a couple lying around. I went ahead and ripped a couple of them, pulled the Ellie. Um, I sold the auto way too early. So I wanted to make sure I got a chance to get a little bit of the Ellie hype. I looked this over, I looked at centering, I looked at surface under a white light. It looked really clean, everything checked out on it. So I think this one has a very good chance at a gem. Hence, I'm gonna send it in. Now I'm way late on this, I'm sure. The hype is sort of dying down, although step in the box, Brett just sent me a message about an hour ago saying he had a 442 foot home run today. So the hype train starts all over again. Next, we got a Riley Green Blue. I got this out of a Topps Chrome hobby box. This was, I think, the second hobby box that I opened on my channel recently, a numbered 82 out of 150. Really nice color match. I'm pretty high on him long term as far as being a solid player. I want to be one of the first to have this, so in case he does go off or you know, has a really good start to next season, I can go ahead and move off of this, but I uh, want that one to be graded. Next one is an Adley Rushman uh, Speckle. I tried to sell this card raw on eBay, and it hasn't sold, so I think I'm going to take the listing down, and I'm going to go ahead and send it in. It checked all the boxes. Centering surface were clean. The Speckle is numbered out of 99, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grade this and see if I can't get this back before playoff time. I don't know if they're gonna make the playoffs this year or not, but uh, if they do and they happen to make a deep run, it'd be nice to have that card back in hand graded. Next, we got a Bobby Witt X-Fractor. This is the one that I pulled in my most recent trip to San Diego for work. I had two blaster boxes with me and this one was in Last Pack Mojo, uh, saved by Bobby, saved by the bell. Uh, Bobby Witt X-Fractor. He is heating up as of late, so I'm gonna go ahead and send that one in. Uh, again, pretty good centering on that one, pretty good surface on that one. Everything checked out, uh, so I figured I would go ahead and take a chance on that. Next, I've got a Mike Trout Prism Refractor. Um, I, I'm gonna take a chance on this one and see if this one can't get a gem. I sent in an Otani, very similar to this last year, and it gemmed up. Pretty happy with that submission. So under $19, I don't know, these. Trout, Otani, these guys are all collectible, so I figured I'd go ahead and give that one a shot, see if we can't get that one back in a 10. The next one, I'm really on the fence about this card, guys. This is a guaranteed $100, and I'm gonna take a chance, take a chance that I'm gonna grade this card, and in a 10, it's gonna be more than $100. I'm not greedy, but I'm just, I want to see this card in a slab so bad. It's one of the coolest cards I've seen so far this year in Topps Chrome. It is the Shohei Otani Pink out of 399. Absolutely stunning looking card. I'm gonna go ahead and try and send that one in. This one is numbered 161 out of 399. I'm gonna bank on the fact that that is probably worth more than $100 graded than it is raw for $100. But if I fail at it completely, I got a guaranteed $100 and it only cost me $20 to find out. So a net of 80, I figured I'd still come out ahead and it's worth the gamble. Next, we've got a couple refractors from some of the top rookies, probably the two rookies that are gonna win Rookie of the Year, one for the AL, one for the NL. We've got Gunnar Henderson, refractor, pulled this as well out of Topps Chrome Hobby Box. This one checked all the boxes, centering was pretty solid, surface pretty solid, corners and edges look pretty good. 
to go ahead and send that one in. I had pretty good luck with Wander Franco last year on a refractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and send in the Gunnar Henderson, follow it up with a Corbin Carroll refractor. I'm gonna go ahead and send that one in as well. Next, I probably am grading this card a little bit too early, but I do wanna see it in a slab and I wanna get this one at least in an order. So if I'm gonna submit an order and I'm close, to get me over 20, I'm probably just gonna send the card anyway. That's a Vinny Pascantino um, Aqua, True Aqua out of 199, I think. 199 or 299, out of 199. True Aqua, really nice looking eye appeal card. Centering solid, gonna go ahead and take a chance on that. This one I may sub out, but right now I've got a Team of the Future base card for Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani sells. I, I joked with my wife earlier today. I said, I think you could probably just send in anything Otani and you're gonna come back and it's probably gonna be a $40 bill, unless it gets a nine. But anything that's a 10, is probably gonna be a 40 or $50 bill from now on until uh, he gets uh, cools off or whatever. So we're about halfway through this submission. We got probably the best cards yet to come. And then I threw a couple in at the end. I don't know yet whether I'm gonna keep them in there or whether I'm gonna change the order. I'm gonna sleep on it for a couple days, but Next, we got an Anthony Volpe refractor. Man, we get we got the refractors for the base rookies, or for the rookies in this case. We got Volpe, Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson, Volpe, Riley Green. So that's four. The only couple we're missing were, um, I think, Jordan Walker, Nolan Gorman, and Adley Rushman. But uh, heck, I have a couple more boxes of Chrome Retail coming. I might actually pull those cards. You never know. Uh, next, we got a Giannis. We are big Giannis fans. I just kind of want this in a slab. I'm willing to pay the 20 bucks to get it in a slab. I, you know, it's it's a team all edition, like tricolor die, or not die cut, tricolor laser. I think the card looks cool. It's got great eye appeal. I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance on that and uh, go ahead and send that one in. And I'm gonna do these a little bit out of order. I've got four Ellie De La Cruz Tops Now cards when he got the call up. Now, normally I wouldn't, actually I forgot, there's one card here at the end. Uh, four Tops Now cards for Ellie De La Cruz. I saw um, Neil Cards and Comics did the order of uh, like 10 of these at the National. They all got like pristine 10s from CGC. So these are almost assuredly gonna get a 10. Uh, I'd find it very hard that they don't get a 10. I looked at eBay comps, now I, I know I'm really probably taking a bit of a gamble here. It's all about timing. These cards long-term will not sell, but Ellie De La Cruz is not gonna have a rookie card in any product until 2023. So I've got a window to sell these. If the hype continues, I think there's a chance to grade some of these and move on of, off of them if they get a 10. So if I get three out of four 10s, 10s were selling for about $50. So $20 grade, I acquired these cards for free because I had some credit on my account. So I basically am into these cards for nothing. Uh, and so I figured with $20 grading or $19 grading, I'm gonna go ahead and submit them and see what happens and uh, hope that I get a 10. And if I don't, lesson learned, never do it again. But uh, the next four cards, one of them is like really special and gonna definitely go in. And I'll probably show you guys that last, but uh, Next, we got Aaron Judge on the Refractor 1988. Aaron Judge sells. Um, card looked pretty centered. I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance on that one that it gets a 10. Then we have next a Mike Trout Refractor. I might take this one out of the order. I think I'm gonna look for a different rookie to grade, but uh, Mike Trout Refractor, the card looked really clean, so I figured I'd go ahead and take a chance on that. Uh, then we've got a Spencer Torkelson Blue. This is a blue prism out of the most recent product that everybody's been ripping the Platinum Anniversary. Looks really clean. I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance on that. He's been heating up as of late as well. And then I've got two cards left. I wanna send them both in, but sadly I think one of them is like gonna outweigh the other in terms of value. But um, it's, it's the two I pulled yesterday in my most recent video. We got Gabriel Moreno and Corbin Carroll. This one's out of 75, this one's out of 25. They're both teammates now for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I, I'm definitely sending this one in. This is kind of what prompts me to send this order in as quick as I can. I want to send this one in, but again, he's, he's a catcher, he's okay. It is out of 25. It, in a raw value, this does not sell for a lot. 
it looked pretty centered, maybe just a little bit off left to right. But um, yeah, kind of want to send both of these in and see what happens. So that is kind of where my head is at with regards to this upcoming order. Let's go ahead and count the cards again. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 cards at $19 a card, run me about $500 in grading fees when you factor in shipping and insurance. So I don't know. I definitely want to send in the Corbin Carroll. I definitely want to send in a couple of those other cards that they're kind of no brainers in my opinion, but I wanted to give you guys a different way of looking at me talking when I'm discussing these cards as opposed to flipping the camera around and you guys see the cards and don't hear me talk. And I also want to play with this lighting because it's really dang cool. So thanks again for watching everybody. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Stay tuned for batter up episodes. Actually, we're about to go live. I think this video will go up later in the week, but we're about to go live with Brett for a step in the box, batter up with Brett and John. So if you guys are up for that, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Night, everybody.